When the cats hit the road, nearly 150 players, coaches and staff come on the trip. That means packing for everyone. This week, we give you a behind the scenes look at how all the equipment gets to the opposing stadium. Where'd you put that big trunk? Going in the locker room, I got one of the managers in here and they're, all the players are bringing their bags out that are traveling and we're checking them off to make sure we don't miss anybody. Reminding them to make sure you have your special pads and all that other stuff, because they will forget. I've been here right around 27. So, been to three or four other places and finally came here and got settled in and uh, so far so good, I like it. This is our coach's trunk. Basically everything that a coach needs is in here. Um, same thing as our staff trunk. Every coach will have his pair of pants, belt, uh, his polo, his game polo. So every coach has his own uh, cubby hole that will fit his uh, sh game shoes, hat, uh, toiletry kit, and his game loop. <laughs> They're very heavy. <laughs> we will drive everywhere in the continental United States. Unless we go to Hawaii, then we'll have to fly our gear. So uh, it really helps to have the truck where you can just pack whatever you want and bring the kitchen sink and it doesn't matter. Oh, it's just fun being around the kids, being around the coaches, you know, get to travel a little bit. Uh, you know, you're around athletics, you know, and that's, that's unbelievable, you know, do something like this. It's, it's kind of time consuming. A lot of times it takes a lot of time out of your day and, you know, but eh, I love it. I love doing it. I wouldn't do anything else. I don't know what I'd do if I had to have another job. It's a job, but it's not like a real job sometimes. Grab those Z-Rex down here with me. We will pack um, rain gear and cold weather gear for every game, no matter if it's in August or if it's in uh, December. Yeah, they're all students go to school here. Uh, we got like 10 of them. Uh, got a couple girls, got a bunch of guys, and they all work together real close. Uh, you know, and they're, they're kind of the nuts and bolts of the thing. You know, they get everything set up for practice. As you see, they get everything set up on the truck for a road game. Uh, when we get there, they'll unload the truck, get everything unloaded. And, you know, it takes a little special person to be able to do that and go to class too. Um, but they get along really well, and that's the main thing. And yeah, they're like our family, our equipment family. They're my kids, kind of, so to speak, second family. It's all about being part of a team, uh, being part of something that's bigger than just yourself, um, the camaraderie, the relationships that are built um, with, with the staff, with the athletes. It's all road trips. They're all fun. You got to make it fun. If it isn't fun, you shouldn't be here. That's for sure. They're all pretty good. All the people in the Big Ten, we know. They're all nice. You know, they get along with us. We get along with them. Um, you know, it's just one of those things that, you know, we're kind of a family too, the equipment guys in the Big Ten. You know, we call and talk to each other and one guy has a problem or we have a problem, we'll call them, they'll call us and we try to help each other out. That's what it's all about. 